Good evening, everyone. I am Vansh, team member of Inseeds and a volunteer at Adore. Inseeds provides a platform to you to connect with entrepreneurs and learn from their journey. Adore is a global volunteer network of students and young professionals working on motivating youth towards positive action. So here on behalf of Inseeds and Adore, I welcome you all to the webinar on finding a bigger purpose than profits to stay in business for long-term value. I take this opportunity to welcome today's guest speaker, Mr. Abhinash Kulkarni. He is a founder CEO of Koyolia Technologies, a side hustle that intends to harness skills development in India and Africa. He has done MBA in marketing and HR. Sir, it is an honor and a privilege for all of us to have you here with us today. I'm sure we will be enriched by this webinar. Once again, I welcome all of you for this webinar. Before proceeding further, I would request everyone to switch on their cameras to make this session more interactive. Thank you, Vansh. So, sir, you can take over the webinar. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh for the introduction uh, once. Uh, it's a privilege to be associated with Inseeds.in. I see that it is a enterprise made possible by youth and for youth. Uh, it's really an honor to be here and uh, talk about uh, this topic, finding purpose beyond profits or bigger than profits. Uh, so I'll take about maybe 30 minutes to run through my small slide deck and then uh, We'll open it up and let's have a Q&A. That would be more interactive, I suppose. Sure, sir. Okay, so my name is Avinash Kulkarni. I'm based in Hyderabad. I am right now in the midst of uh, establishing this new entrepreneurship called as COYOLIA, which is a acronym, Cohort for Young Leaders in Action, uh, which is also, I would say, a synonym for this group today. It's a cohort of young leaders. Uh, so this is just a, I would say, two-month-old enterprise. And I wanted to just share, uh, this is the second time I'm trying entrepreneurship. Uh, one was a decent success in healthcare. Me and wife, my wife, we started uh, <clears throat> affordable uh, Ayurvedic healthcare clinics in Bangalore. So that was the first attempt. Now I'll speak about uh, what we are trying to do here. And uh, many of you are budding entrepreneurs or would be entrepreneurs, you are interested, you would want to know how to do it. Maybe uh, what should I start with a product or service? So that's why I have named it. I have given some topics to one. So finding a purpose bigger than profits. That is how I have named it as. And uh, maybe you would want to know if I'm already doing a job, how do I create a team, a purpose for myself so that I can come out and establish something cool or something clear-headed, right? So agenda is I'll share what is success or how to look for a purpose. Then there are various models. If you find a purpose to take it through a filter or a yardstick, whether this will work for you or it will not work for you, how to connect the dots and maybe some inspirational quotes at the end. Okay. So in my opinion, I feel the power of success is <clears throat> success definition is moving from one failure to another without loss of enthusiasm. Right? A lot of everybody won't succeed in their first attempt being an entrepreneur or being a sportsman or being a teacher. Any profession you pick it up, you will have to gradually up the ante. And uh, failure is part of this entire uh, circus or the karma of success. It is not a deterrent. It is not uh, to puncture your enthusiasm. Failure is uh, the entire part of the process. It's also the stepping stone, which is the oldest uh, mantra. So we ran this uh, clinics there in uh, Bangalore for three years. We had to shut it down due to COVID. So we have not lost that enthu. So we are trying to do something more. Earlier than that, we have tried a couple of other ideas. But this time, I think... Uh, with all the knowledge and uh, exposure given by various corporate jobs, not for profit jobs and also startup jobs. I feel much more confident that uh, this time we will make it big. 
and we will create a path not only to profits but to make an impact on the society right so our uh, short name is koyalia so this, there is a i mean we were searching for a name we coined it as amber glow um, amber being a, a successful color or also the name of a ethiopian slave who made it big in india amber malik so that domain was available but uh, then registrar of company didn't allow that so we coined a, a short acronym so there are three uh, co-founders with me i think uh, i have invited them ravikant sudhir kutti and urbanali hopefully they are maybe around in this uh, uh, webinar so well, first what we wanted to do is impact uh, the youth uh, we always found that there is a mismatch between what the education is teaching and what we saw in our corporate jobs is that there are tons of jobs to be given but uh, when we go and interview ourselves as heads of companies or heads of different departments uh, we find that uh, eight out of 10 resumes are not suitable or people are maybe passionate but in the wrong direction so we want to do that i mean connect these jobs to the needy youth there is a gap so uh, this slide says business in search of purpose or the other way around like sometimes you got the purpose but when you start evaluating or using different framework like what is your vision statement what is your mission statement how is your revenue plan lot of people will your banker or your advisors uh, and fortunately and unfortunately if you have met some seniors or let's say venture capitalists they'll always ask you what is the revenue plan when will you become break even or kab aapka pehla revenue aayega तो उस टाइम पे आपको लगेगा कि अरे ये तो मैं सोचा ही नहीं है मेरे पास सिर्फ पैशन है एक गोल है बट इसको बिजनेस के ढांचे में मैं कैसे डालू सो वी आर कंफ्यूज समटाइम्स शुड आई जस्ट फर्स्ट लुक एट कमर्शियल ट्रेडिंग और मेक सम मनी समहाउ एंड देन लुक फॉर पर्पस सो द वे वी वेंट अबाउट इज यस वी वी आर क्लियर दैट वी वॉन्ट टू इम्पैक्ट द यू यस प्रोवाइड दम सम ट्रेनिंग but the purpose was very clear so we had uh, clearly connected the dots and got the purpose because of the work exposure like ravikant or sudhir or other co-founders we know that there is immense potential in connecting uh, or being a finishing school finishing school is uh, a 20 year old concept where corporates or ngos or not for profit foundations they bridge a gap they give skills to the people are coming out of engineering or management uh, colleges and uh, connect them to the industry so that's a old or a established uh, business model we thought what else can we do can we work with people who are not even 12th pass failed in graduation maybe the last semester they have not cleared it and but whereas the industry at the other end is not really keen that we should hire an mba or btech the lots of roles where even a 12th pass is okay for a sales role or maybe uh, somebody who knows a bit of technology can be groomed and trained for a cloud computing uh, organization so that is the uh, idea that we had now uh, how do you evaluate an idea so michael porter had uh, way back in 1979 or 1980 created a model there are five forces he says in the uh industry there is an entry barrier there is an exit barrier suppose i want to start a, let's say a restaurant or i want to start a a replica of flipkart okay there's nothing wrong in it okay so there is nothing wrong in it you may want to create a more successful copy but uh, before you copy an idea or a theme or a product or service uh maybe you can choose this one of the models that we ravikant mar co-founder he suggested this to us so what we did uh, suppose we want to say we want to start staffing business or this training or recruitment we just thought like is there a entry barrier to this business entry barrier matlab baki ke log yahan pe aa sakte hain kya is business mein kya wo log hamare idea ko copy kar sakte hain so if you look at recruitment placement service or training i think there is no entry barrier anybody with a mail id or a computer can come and start this business 
exit barrier if if you don't find this business profitable in 3 months 4 months or whatever months you can exit of course i mean you may not have much of loss of your brand value or assets so where there is no entry barrier exit barrier maybe everybody will rush in and thereby there is enough not enough time or not enough bandwidth to create a differentiator or a new sp right and what are the regulations which might affect this business now if you look at electric vehicle business a lot of people have come with two wheelers maybe not four wheelers that's more expensive so entry barrier is huge in electric four wheelers electric two wheelers entry barriers are there but may be manageable exit barriers are quite strong there but government regulations like the fame subsidy fame fame subsidy okay or existing competition they may create uh, some buzz and they may have a better edge over this so like this they have five forces he goes on to explain bargaining power of suppliers suppose you want to start this two wheeler but you have to depend on so many people who will supply you a lithium ion battery maybe the headlights the rubber part glass part so if the suppliers are more stronger than you uh, then you may have to rethink whether this business model will fit you or not and then the bargaining power of customers themselves now if i have to uh, launch a led tv or any white good electronics these are all imported from china taiwan somewhere and customer today has huge choices so customer is the king and uh, maybe i come out with a great model uh, but still i have i'll have a problem so yesterday i was talking uh, there are there is a interesting group from vit engineering college a uh, couple of students they have made a business plan to come out with a new smartphone manufactured in india contract manufactured great plan so i was just wondering there are so many brands at all price points 5000 rupees se leke 1 lakh rupees tak but they say they have studied it is a tech enthusiast or somebody deeply passionate about the ram processor specifications and he may not be willing to pay beyond certain x rupees so they are coming out with a business plan for that so Porter's five forces is one method. This is not the only method. There are many to just help you evaluate your business idea. What are the risks? Do you stand a chance of staying in the market? You have found a purpose. Now you are evaluating what purpose will fit into the market. Okay. Now next slide, we speak about like-minded collaborators. Many people think uh, if we take. Uh, few people who may be my best pals my classmates or friends childhood friends we all feel very too much uh, kicked about this idea we are in rhythm hum ek dusre ko bahut achhi tarike se jante hain so that may be a good starting point but my one of my current md he always says uh, while doing business and if you get friendly with some business founders that is fine but typically founding a business along with friends is very rare it won't last that that long so maybe you need somebody who can openly criticize you without you feeling bad and uh, you are free to air your opinion along with him or her so you may know him or her but they may be more like like minded collaborators like in our case in koyalia we have rabika sudhir kurban so we openly question each other we independently have our own caliber qualifications exposure so we don't feel threatened by asking or being asked in our face that what is wrong going wrong what should have been the right way to do this business each one comes with his own expertise so uh, starting along with classmates or college mates is fine but just check whether the value systems the end goal <clears throat> the purpose that you have found does that resonate do they also feel very strongly about this purpose will they stay the distance because it's going to be a very very tough journey will they uh, match toe to toe step to step along with you right that is the message on this now how do we come to the purpose i mean we have to find a purpose which is something not just locked up in profit and loss revenue plan go to market 
sales and marketing all these are in tools you have to use these tools now a lot of things are there in front of us every day if we read newspapers by mistake i think we are all not reading uh, newspapers every day uh mera mera darkhast hai ki sab log newspaper daily padhe hindi mein padhe ya regional language mein padhe ya english mein padhe newspapers are uh, one of the most wonderful uh, general knowledge learning tools technical tools but it also maybe sometimes it throws up something in front of you which you might ignore but therein lies a hidden uh, maybe a problem and a solution so what we did is one area of that we were understanding there is mismatch of skills uh, i work still a full time in a big cloud computing and a products company we saw that we were having a lot of problems in uh, hiring training people losing people right people come with different expectations and then there is this rural urban youth uh, there is a disconnect a lot of rural youth from tier 2 cities or villages smaller towns they do migrate to cities hoping that they'll make it big and then there is a disillusion or there is a gap in their expectations so what uh, way we thought is that uh, companies need talent they also need people who are ready from day one at least i would say ready to further learn it is not ready to immediately work meaning let's take an example uh, i am sure you all know amazon web services or azure or any cloud platform so we may want uh, an engineer or a, let's say a bsc or a bcom person somebody who knows what is cloud how does it work technically and financially and uh, if i ask him to manage some virtual servers he just knows the basics that's all is required and i'll train him from there but i as a company i may not have too much classroom or trainers to spend time with the fresh graduates and there's not much of lateral hiring i mean i am a small company let's say in bangalore hyderabad gurgaon ncr i have a limited budget to pay 15 to maybe 25000 rupees for a fresh person but i also want him to be ready to learn further and uh, self learning is a big skill today if you if you ask me can i give you one manual or a link to a video or last month we were doing a presentation to a customer i have recorded that video i'll give you that i want you to learn from it ask me three four questions if i am an experienced let's say l1 engineer or l2 engineer and thereby i'll slowly teach you day by day not from basics but from beyond the basics so what is being taught in college is still horrible i mean people are teaching c language and maybe old databases so we just fill that skill and also to match that skill we added english language comfort not about grammar and all just the basics how do you read write english how do you read write emails how do you read and respond to a rfp or a request for proposal right and a bit of hands on you need hands on before you go and appear in that job interview so we assumed this will work we tested it and now we have two batches running and uh, we are hopeful that these two batches of 55 to 60 all women or all girls batch we are running in bangalore taken from a government uh, college we have created an iot and cloud because a lot of companies want a bit of different knowledge that apart from cloud what else do you know so that i can train you a little bit on that part also like internet of things or maybe data science they are very closely related to cloud so we found this as a gap and we hope that this will work it is working so far and so we went to rural youth a lot of rural youth are today uh, wanting to earn an additional income not just have a job so if i am let's say bahrich or shravasti district in up or madhubani or patna district wherever in bihar or tumkur in karnataka i may not want to work a full time job because i'm already in agricultural uh, let's say land holding or the family business there is 4 to 6 months of engagement in agri the other 4 to 6 months i'm free so maybe i have some free time i would like to uh, now uh, use this spare time maybe 
offer my services in AC repairs or motor pump sets or two wheeler repair, something, some additional skill. So that is what we are trying to fix that for rural youth. Now, the trick here is that you or me, wherever we find a problem, we just have to assume that Aray, isko kon sol karega, isme paisa hai kya? who will help me in the initial few days. So, thodi der ke liye just remove that thing, that assume that you have, aapke paas aisa socho ki bhoat sara paisa hai ya milega, bhoat sara support milega. And agar yadi paisa hota, sare support hota, to aap is problem ko kaise sul jate? How will you solve this problem? Right? Because that frees up your mind. Assume that there is enough supply of money and there are people to help you. And then when you solve this problem, you will get a lot of recognition. Just think of it. And therein you might be able to connect the dots and come out with a small purpose, which may be very small to start with. But if it excites you one person, it's enough to start a team, <laughs> test it, and then call in few advisors to help you make the business plan. Okay, so we'll take questions at the end, right? One shall not stop. Or somebody wants to ask now. So we can ask the question after you are done. Okay, now, how do we spot some problems or uh, opportunities? I've just listed uh, uh, one or two issues here. It may not be very visible, but uh, the first visual on the right-hand side are uh, some 213 prisoners left or released before their term. <clears throat> In ki jail avadhi se pehle inko chhod diya gaya hai. Hyderabad Central Jail mein. Teen char din pehle ki newspaper ki edition hai. These are 213 people, maybe a mix of crimes. I'll not go to the background of these people, maybe murder, other theft, small cases also. Now, Look at this uh, section. We never thought that ye bhi ek dunia hota hai. But a lot of attempts are made. During one of my social service or CSR, I had visited Bangalore Central Jail. Of course, not as a kaidi, but as a visitor. It is possible to go and visit as a social service person. For a few hours, you will go and see that Bangalore uh, Central Jail had one of the best bakeries, best book binding, uh, furniture making. So they have created a lot of trades to help uh, the prisoners. So you have a lot of educated, skilled people, but these people are not able to adjust into the society because society rejects them. They want to learn skills. They want to reintegrate and forget the world of crime. They want to go back to their families and work with them. Right? So this is possibly a good age group who want to work hard with any skill you give, want to prove themselves. And fortunately, the state government, this photo is from Hyderabad, Telangana government, they want to help them. So suppose I go with a program, with whatever program, that sir, I'll scale this 200, 400 people whom you release maybe every year. Or even if you have 1000 prisoners inside, let me create an online program. I'm just imagining here, I've not done this. Aisa kar sakte hai, agar aap socho to. To... Suppose you create an English language program, yeah, some skill program. I'll teach you how to uh, give Ayurvedic massage or I'll give you some training on how to be a good cook. Remote se mein sikha sakta in logo. So you will give a lot of opportunities to people and government has budgets for this. A lot of budgets. On the other photo, there is a now a proposal from government of India which is saying that because there are very few technicians available in many trades. This is Indian Express article. Kya aap believe kar sakte hai ki India abhi work visa Chinese loan ko dene ko tiyar. Because China se itna technology aa raha hai. Not on mobile or computers. But it is in metro, uh, bullet trains, many other complex industries, chemical industries, metallics. So they say if the technology is coming in from uh, non-PLI either jo likha hai, performance linked incentives hai ho. So if Chinese people are coming here, it is fine, welcome because Indians can go anywhere and work, right? We should not be worried about that. 
we should welcome any global talent because we go in thousands and lakhs to UK and US, Australia. But maybe this is a business opportunity, right? Why are we welcoming Chinese? Is there something which we can do along with Chinese government to train our people along with them so that agar yahan pe staniya loko logon ko jahan log yahan pe job mil sakta hai unko ya aisa koi technology ho jo main seekh ke aaun china ja ke aur yahan pe lagu karu and maybe create a competitive market out of it right so you may want so in this i'm just trying to give examples uh, even the स्टैम्पीड जो हुआ अभी हाल ही में लास्ट वीक उत्तर प्रदेश में जहां 200 लोग मारे गए हतरस में आई बिलीव दर्स लॉर्ड ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट देर मेन डिपेंड ऑन एल्कोहल वीमेन डिपेंड ऑन सत्संग टू ब्रेक दर स्ट्रेस सो मे बी इफ वी क्रिएट अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट डिस्ट्रिक्ट और यूपी यू कुड मे बी गेट सम हेल्प फ्रॉम फंडिंग फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट लॉर्ड ऑफ गवर्नमेंट्स एंड कॉर्पोरेट्स आर ओपन टू न्यू आइडियाज लाइक दिस very new ideas you test it small create a small pilot say that okay you are attracting talent from china i can give you similar talent here i have made some attempts to create a mou with china something like that so governments are open corporates are open lot of venture capitalists are open to different service ideas product ideas now whatever motivates you whatever makes you feel happy pick up that purpose and build a business structure along with now when you build a business structure along that i urge you to look at a successful model called as a udupi hotel model udupi is the name of a district or a town in karnataka uh, it's world famous now all over the world in fact i have eaten in udupi restaurants in europe and us udupi is name of a town and it also is a model if you ask me because uh, they are usually one man enterprise one family enterprise uh, if i am from udupi i'll get my best cook uh, best servers eh, whoever it is from my district who speak my language called as tulu or kannada or konkani and you, you can see them in bombay also uh, so udupi hotel is a veg self service hotel if you ask me it's also called as darshini now in bangalore mysore uh people get into this business because it's a very hard working back breaking model good profits 100% profits but i have seen many times that if i am the owner or if i want to become the owner of udupi hotel routinely many of the labor they skip one day chef doesn't come because aapka yahan pe business shuru hota hai subah ke 4 baje jab pehli baar aap idli ka jo batter hota hai wo taiyar karte batter matlab wo jo इडली बनाने का रसायन शास्त्र है <laughs> चाय कॉफी के लिए दूध गर्म करना होता है अगर चार बजे सुबह के वो कुक नहीं आया तो आप सिक्स सिक्स थर्टी यू कैनॉट ओपन योर होटल सो द ओनर इज रेडी टू प्रिपेयर द बैटर इफ दैट सर्वर इज नॉट देयर ही गो एंड सर्व द पीपल ऑन द टेबल दैट बॉय हु क्लीन द टेबल इज नॉट देयर ही क्लीन इट ही गो टू द मार्केट एंड गेट द बेस्ट ऑनियन और कोकोनट वट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड सो ही नोज एवरी एस्पेक्ट he gets into that business because he knows one guy slips away i can manage it i can manage the show without losing my hair or my stress so it's quite a successful model is just a example i gave many other people are similarly like gujaratis or marwadis or parsis community based who are very successful they know their business and they get into it because they know every aspect of it and they can replace any one of the missing talent so this is one successful model right and uh, one of the motivation for me i mean after we just started coelia was somebody had written on linkedin that one person his friend wanted to open a business he used to talk about it write about it he wrote some blogs he tried doing it but uh, maybe at a young age maybe around 52 or 53 passed away and then this friend wrote on linkedin that many times will not run out of cash cash is there maybe with me with my family with somebody who will loan it to me but will run out of time you will run out of time but maybe you will not run out of with cash because sometimes you may have it but you have not really achieved your aspirations so it's also life is short 
and uh, make it work. I mean, take those risks. Entrepreneurship is tough. Uh, maybe it is rewarding and it's very lonely at the top, but it is worth it. If you have uh, uh, some idea, something in your mind, you want to test it, this is the right time. There is nothing called as the right time will emerge later or I'll get some experience and I'll do it. Uh, so life is short, live it. That is my message. And uh, sometimes uh, we feel, I mean, even I am a very late in the day kind of an entrepreneur. Uh, but if you ask me, entrepreneurship is better suited for people who are in 18 to 25 or less than 30 because it creates a lot of stress, challenges in your personal life. Uh, you can take more risks when you are young, run more harder. Uh, but for some reason, you're not able to do it in the first few years. Don't worry about it. You can bring that behavior. We call it as a behavior. Leadership is not a title or a designation. Leadership is a behavior. So similarly, entrepreneurship also is a behavior. Uh, so if you are part of a large company or a small company, you can be still called as an intrapreneur. But love an entrepreneur jo hota hai, job ke daire mein rahe ke, apna hi freedom or independent thinking say he can create a difference to his company. So that's an intrapreneur or intrapreneur who's part of a big company, but he thinks like an entrepreneur. He takes his own decision. He consults with his managing director or board of directors, but still has enough freedom to implement his ideas. Right. So that is one message. And this is my last slide. A lot of you may feel that what can one man do for, how can he achieve? So I hope you have all uh, seen this movie, uh, 83. This came in two, three years back. Uh, Ranveer Singh ka movie tha, 1983, Kapil Dev ka World Cup winning moment. Pe. So he's driven inside by Kapil Dev. I mean, he alone is convinced that we can do it. And sometimes he has doubts. He keeps referring that uh, he has not come here to... So he keeps saying, but one scene is there, Lehra though, there is a song. It's very motivating. So this person alone is motivating the team. But if you look at this point in the movie, there's a small child, uh, child, Indian child born and brought up in Brit Britain. And he's waving the Indian flag. Only one Indian flag amidst maybe thousands of other countries' flags. So there's no dialogue. Lehra though song keeps playing and uh, just that flag, this is a true incident. This is not just a written for movie. It actually motivated the entire team and they rallied among themselves and they built the belief that we can bring this cup home. Even in the final, they didn't give up. They really played that uh, like true champions. So go and watch this movie, that song, it is soul stirring and that can be a great inspiration to young people on this uh, webinar. So you can achieve even if you're alone, nobody to motivate. So pick up some motivation from such films uh, and people like Kapil. That's my message. So open to questions. I request the participants to ask their doubts and questions and sir will answer them accordingly. Sure. Uh, how do Investors view business that prioritize purpose over profit. Right. So maybe the investors are looking for a balance between purpose and profits. And uh, they're looking at purpose as a glue which sticks you to your, let's say, co-founders. And it is sticking as a glue to your the first early adopters or customers. So definitely uh, they're looking for purpose, which is scalable and hence it will be profitable. Uh, but it's two phases of the same coin, I would say. If you have a purpose, then you should also build a business structure along that. Uh, investors may push you to look at uh, a clear GTM revenue plan. And there are tons of um, templates available LinkedIn coaches available to help you build that, but nobody to help you build a purpose. So build the purpose and the structure, I think, will emerge. Um, good evening, sir. Hi. So I had a question. Uh, 
what are the pros and cons of prioritizing purpose of uh, over benefits for the in the long run uh see pros are uh, yeah pros and cons of uh, prioritizing uh, let's say purpose over your profits or purpose over benefits pros is that you are looking at the big picture you are trying to build something which will last for 5 to 10 years uh reason is most uh, new companies or firms they vanish be between 3 uh, to uh, less than 3 years right and long lasting businesses uh, run for about a week uh, sorry about 7 years right most successful companies if they have completed 7 years they are more likely to stay in the business for another maybe 50 years uh startups begin to feel the friction profit loss everything uh very hard in the first few years so it is purpose which will motivate you create the goal hold you together and make it strong so those are the pros cons could be that uh, if purpose alone without a business structure without profit being there uh might uh, may not work the reason is that finally you have to pay your bills right i mean as a organization or as an individual you have to fund yourself your own personal expenses your company running expenses and the more it scalable it becomes the business uh, you have to ensure that you have sufficient funds to pay for the talent or people because it's only the co-founders who understand you and your passion or your purpose but the new employees they may buy your purpose but you need to fund their salaries so without a structure without going after sheer numbers you may lose the plot so those are the cons okay thank you sir hi sir i have a few questions yeah so like before starting the business i want to know like what are the steps i can take so that i can know that my business is a viable has a viable plan sir i like, i want to validate my plan for the business how can i do that very well. so as i said uh, we used that one model that is to evaluate how strong this business model will stay in a structure or a framework uh, which is the michael porter's model of five forces uh, you can use that or some other frameworks or uh, uh uh some theories now if you have a business idea the best way to test it is uh, see who are uh, in the market is there a, a some unique uh, usp or a distinction that you have created and uh, go about researching in the market because i think today internet is a very powerful resource which will give you a quick indication that are these products and services available launched not launched uh, some of the th uh, trends like what is going to happen with uh, certain e-commerce portals uh, so there are various uh, ways which you can validate this the best way is to maybe be a part of a startup group there are a lot of groups uh, like startup ecosystem acceleration uh, groups uh, one is antler like in hyderabad we have t hub which is telangana hub for uh, uh, helping uh, startups and uh, young founders so if you are part of a acceleration system where it doesn't cost you any money but we can quickly put out saying that i have three or four business ideas and i want quick references so mentors and coach are available in these uh, startup hubs who can uh, probably give a helping hand to you thank you so much for your insight sir people can interact with me i'm not still a great entrepreneur or yeah successful in idea or successful in initial project execution and uh, we want to believe that we are successful we will be successful so write to us whatever learnings we have as a young entrepreneur in terms of the business ideas we will help you shape these and uh, wherever you are in any small or big city we will help you connect to the local coach and mentors our global overseas people are also very keen to help indian entrepreneurs so we can always help each other uh, what are some challenges business face while trying to focus uh, balance the 
uh, other purposes and profitability uh, profitability okay. how the balance right so challenges are many i mean i would say challenges uh, so initial challenges are like maybe registration of the company creating a domain which is attractive i mean today your social media presence and the internet domain like whatever poelia.com amberglow.com whatever you want to name it it should be a catchy and a simple distinctive name uh, those are the initial challenges because if you have the right purpose right theme idea uh, write it down register it ideally have a a domain also blocked because you can block a domain for maybe 1000 rupees to start with and then you can go about the company registration legal process but the later challenge is uh, how do you quickly find a team which is both supportive and also uh, quite questioning about you i mean about your commitment or about your ideas as i said a like minded collaborators not necessarily friends but somebody who knows you but can question you that would be your second challenge that how do you create a cohort or a small team of people who have equal caliber equal talent and are able to support you third challenge will be to find one or two early adopters i mean ideally it is better that you would have thought about ki agar main aisa ek product ya service karunga and i know where to go and get the first customer because there is nothing like success whether it is small revenue 5000 rupees or 2000 rupees but if you get one customer to buy whatever you are selling uh, it gives you some confidence some morale boosting uh, that would be important because that customer will teach you so many things that this is the way to innovate this is the way to package things this is the way to address these things uh, so that's the challenge and the last fifth challenge i would say is that as a udupi hotel as told about that model you may have to do several things yourself website khud ko design karna padega you have to design your business cards your logo name of the company find some investors go and meet the customers operate with or without a office you don't have a formal seating place uh, so ability to rise above this small small challenges will be testing but uh, these are the challenges which you will face early on but after you find a bit of success and let's say you have the funds also now scalability will be the next biggest challenge wherein how do you take this program service product now to one market to let's say another two three more markets what works in hyderabad will not work 100 kilometers outside of hyderabad what works in pune will never work in bombay now they are just 150 kilometers away both are totally different so you will need lot of thinking uh, market feedback to become scalable business problem a uh, business house so i feel these are the initial challenges which everyone will face we should wrap up the q and a session okay okay so as we are clear near to the closing ceremony before we depart we would like to thank avinash kulkarni sir and all the participants for making this webinar success uh, we have shared a feedback link in group we request you to give your valuable feedback once again thank you everyone for joining the webinar uh, the webinar is now complete and you may now uh, leave the meeting thank you sir thank you once and thank you team in seats So it was really great to connect with you throughout this month. Pleasure. Thank We you. Have, I have learned many things from you great. through this session. Yeah, let's continue the association. All the best to you and your team. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thanks a lot. Good night. Good night, sir.